we are. I was looking forward to a nice, quiet, lazy day. This isn't it. Yeah, but I looked at the weather and um, today looked like a sailing day, whereas the next couple of days look like meh, not doing much on the wind. No, we're going to go. Well, we, we, uh, we were over a press and sail a minute ago. We had filled me in on uh, quite a lot of journey out. We were doing seven and a half knots. So we've dialed it back a bit because uh, it's above the boat's theoretical hull speed. And um, we're now doing 6.8 knots. Still going at a reasonable clip. Yeah, and that's with two reefs in the jenny and one in the main. <laughs> but, um... It just sort of like, uh, one of the things that's just hard to learn is the weather. <laughs> you try your best <sighs> to judge all these things using various you're gonna apps. Make, you're going to make ridiculous statements like that. I'm going back downstairs to wash my bowls. <laughs> the uh, anchor bowl is covered in muck. I could go so badly wrong. Oh, we're on off. Well, I think we're only on a couple of tacks. We've only done two so far this morning. I don't know, but what's annoying me is she will not keep it on a tack that enables me to make a cup of tea. That's... My quiet day has gone boom. <laughs> Madam Exciting here is... We're doing it nuts, we're doing it nuts, we're doing it nuts. Beverly and I are definitely not racist. I'm, no, I'm a cup of tea. <laughs> because oh, hey, we were moving cool. around at a good clip and I'm like, woo, woo. Did you hear that falling out of the cupboard? I did, I did. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Uh, our wind, our speed has dropped to 4.7 knots. Oh, oh how pedestrian. We're pedestrian now and we're feeling a lot happier. But oh, geez. It was very exciting and I would have loved to have filmed it for you, but to be honest, it was too exciting and needed to be all hands on deck. <laughs> right. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, new bottle fitted. Okay, don't try Yeah, yeah, try it, try it. It's on. Any flames? We have got flames, but they're still weak arsed. Must be the regulator of the hose. Oh, it has to be a faulty regulator. Right, okay, that's the best you got. Uh, I think we've got a faulty regulator. Have you been recording all my morning? What? Turn that bloody thing off. As we said, that when it's the moment, it's very difficult to film because your tempers are a bit <sighs> frayed and stuff like that. Particularly mine, I'm very good at getting frayed. But Beverly's temper gets very frayed. <laughs> but um, you've come to, to sea with no regulator. No spare regulator. No spare regulator. And this one's just run out. And uh, our regulator has just gone ping. But we have two different types of gas bottle on Salty Lass. Um, a small one and a large one. And um, we thought that the large one had run out of gas, which is why we've gone over to the small. It has now. <sighs> okay, apparently it has now. She was hoping that she could get enough thick water to get a cup of tea. But the answer is we haven't. This is crisis on Salty Lass. No tea!
sailing. In this vlog, I've already complained about. Well, I'm going to have to. Oh, you're the thing? Yeah. On the vlog, I've already complained about sort of like too much wind, and Beverly you and I were trying to walk about with the sails and oh, all that sort of stuff. Oh. Then we had a, a regulator regulator fail and we realise we do not have a spare. This is a major crisis. No tea on salty laugh. So, you know, you've got to look at all the various options as to what you're doing. We've got no wind. So, um, and we are closer to Dunmore East than we are to um, our next destination and we don't know what is at the next destination so we're going back um, to Kilmore Quay and we've decided that we're going to go on to the um, moorings not the moorings the um, into the pontoon there uh, because we need access uh, to the um, so we could probably go and buy dinghy actually thinking about it, just drop the anchor a little closer than we were before. We could do. So should we do that? Because it's right. not a problem with getting in by dinghy. No, the only reason that you, know, you would maybe want to go into the top of the water tanks. Oh, well anyway, we've got we'll these see if we get a day ticket. Yeah, just do a day ticket and then we'll drop the anchor later. We'll, we'll just go back on anchor tonight. If we have to pay for a whole day, we'll stay in the marina. Right, okay, so... We now have a plan. We have a plan. <laughs> and the, the very, very calm weather that's forecast for the rest of the week, well, it's a weather forecast. It'll be wrong. Yeah. But one thing for certain, we do need our tea. We need our cup of tea and we will be buying two regulators. Yeah. Not having this again. No, because, um, and you'll get another regulator for the other one as well. The big one, yeah, but it's brand new. I mean, it's like six months old. The other yeah. one's a couple of years old. Yeah, well, anyway. Oh, we did see some beautiful dolphins! The dolphins came to cheer us up, they were wonderful! They were fantastic! Well, we're back in uh, Dunmore East because that was the closest port of call. And if you have issues, you should always go back to the closest. Plus, I hadn't a clue what was ahead of us. But uh, we're having to have cereal for lunch. This is because we've got nothing that we can eat that isn't cooked, really. You know, a bit of cheese is about my lot. So the plan is to find either a gas bottle or a regulator. Basically, yeah. So that's what we're going to do now. Nope, I'm going to have my cereal breakfast lunch now. Yes, and then we'll do that. Go on then, you wanted to do a piece of camera in the heat of the moment? No, oh, it's just the trials and tribulations of sailing yacht Salty Lass. Well, we're here at... Um, um, Dunmore East. Dunmore East, thank you, Beverly. We're here at Dunmore East and um, there's just literally no gas, no regulator. Unless you want a patio heater. Mm, I could get a little bucket or something like that and <laughs> do something like that, but anyway, there's nothing... So, it's a good thing we've got plenty of time to explore the uh, south coast because it looks like we're going back to Dunmore East. No, you're in Dunmore East. No. Oh, sorry. Going back to Kilmore Key. Let me just do that again. No, I'm going to leave that in. <laughs> well, it... <laughs> Salty last, keep it real. And uh, the truth of the matter is, we're motor sailing because we have a deadline. Uh, basically, we, uh, we found out that there was gas in Kilmore, 
and more importantly gas regulators in Kilmore and gas regulators in Kilmore um, at the Chandlers it's, uh, I wonder why I did a piece on them last time but never mind <laughs> but yeah um, so we found out there was gas so it's best to go to Kilmore Kilmore is everything we need so we're going there so we're going there but the thing is on the way down to uh, past Kilmore last time we had to sit outside because we arrived at low tide and he asked us to wait outside for two hours um, to give the make sure there was plenty of depth well we have now got to make sure that we arrived two hours before high tide have we bubbly uh, yeah, one hour and 20 minutes time so that is why we're motor sailing. However, um, however the uh, low tide is in two hours um, time, so we have got about 40 minutes advantage out of this. Right. So by motor sailing, we've given ourselves a bit more leeway um, to get uh, in. To get in. Um, and that's why we decided we had to motor sail. It's. Sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. You do. And this is one of those times. Yep. Where it feels like a heck of a day. It's been a hell of a day and I've not a hot meal all day. I've given Beverly ham sandwiches. <laughs> you can buy a few basics in Dunmore, but don't expect to buy anything that you need. Yeah, like gas. <laughs> or regulators. Yeah, so. Or even hot food on a Monday. Um, but. Chippy That's why we got the ham sandwiches. Chippy was closed on a Monday. I oh, know, dire. Well, we're back in Kilmore Quay. It's quite late. Um, it's seven o'clock, so the harbour master's not here. Um, I was wanting to get in by half past seven, which we did, because there's a low spot literally just at the entrance um, now we still had one meter under us um, but we've got two me two hours of tide to go um, but it's just there at the entrance so what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little uh, diagram up to show you roughly where the low spot is but it literally is just as you're entering um, the harbour um, but once you've got past the low point it was like oh shit I've got past that bit oh, but um, tomorrow we're going to go up to the Chandlers we've seen that before great Chandlers got gas which is what we need so our hunt for gas should hopefully be complete tomorrow so what did you get in the Trandlers, Bev? Um, I went to get another one of these increasingly rare four and a half kilogram butanes. Unfortunately, they did not have it in stock. They thought they did, but they don't. Um, so what I've got instead is I've got some regulators. Um, we do have a regulator for the, the big one that works. I've bought a spare one for it as well. And I've bought two regulators for the 907 gas bottles. That's these little camping gas ones, which are considerably more expensive and half the capacity of the other ones. But I've bought two regulators for it and uh, I'm going to test them both up here. It's a very, very simple test. You plug them in, turn the handle, they either hiss gas or they don't. That's it. And um, so this is the new one and it's currently off. So uh, I'm going to test it. If it works, brilliant. I'll test that one as well. <laughs> Shout out. But we now have two. So if one fails, we'll have a second. And like I say, I also bought a spare for the big one. And we will wrap these up in cling film and put them in the spares. But I was astounded yesterday when I found out we did not have a spare regulator on board. We are a bit obsessive about having a spare everything. So it's time to put this on. If it works, I'll swap all over the gas hose, put it all together, and we can have hot food again, hot drinks, things like that, which are very important. You don't realise the importance of having hot food and hot drinks till all of a sudden you can't have any and it's a right pain in the backside. So, on we go. Okay. 
I can hear it. Okay, so that one works. Yeah, I heard it. The knob's a wee bit close to the uh, bottle for comfort, but it'll work. That, that worked. That one passed. Yeah, I can hear it. Stop panicking! I don't want you to waste gas! 